Much has been written about the problems associated with paper documents. I'm not going to dwell on the obvious, but instead I'd like to discuss how to take advantage of some of the newer devices available in today's markets to give us a truly digital paper. So let's talk about the Apple iPad. First thing we're going to need to do though is acquire some kind of a PDF capability. So we can do that through the uh, App Store in our iTunes application. Sync it up with the device and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, now that we have our iPad loaded with a, a viewer, I'm going to talk about one such being the good PDF app. So we'll, let's say we want to add some additional PDF files. So if we scroll down to the file sharing area, we will see our good reader has been loaded. I can then bring up uh, Windows Explorer or some kind of a Explorer tool uh, app and drag and drop the file and then finally click on the sync button. Uh, obviously the uh, device, the iPad, needs to be connected to your PC or Mac. Now we have our iPad loaded up with our application and synced up with some documents. So I can go into my uh, PDF viewer, preview some images, select the one that I want to view in detail, and then it's very straightforward, easy navigation. Uh, by default, you can have single or dual page displays. Page flipping is just a matter of uh, stroking your finger. I can go back and look at my other documents. This is a wide format drawing. And we can see that we can zoom in with great detail. The, the focus will fade in once the uh, zoom port has been established. So very straightforward, easy to use, uh, very easy navigation, very legible in various lighting environments. Uh, very well done by our friends at Apple.